Hey guys, this is the Frisbee Authority, and today, I guess you can call this an app review, but I'm just going to talk about the app store a little bit for people that don't know about it, and, you know, show all its features, and, how, like, what, you, you know, how to download and all that stuff. So, there it is, app store, it's a little A symbol for app, a circle, and that six means that I have six apps I need to upload, I mean, update. So, press on it when you do it in the App Store. And at the bottom, there's um, five different tabs featured, categories, top 25, search, and update, or updates. And we just, you know, show you, show you the apps in different ways. Um, first one is featured. And this one, the top says new or what's hot, and right now I'm on new. So these are just, you know, new apps that I guess Apple picks out to put on the um, featured list. Sometimes I notice that some of these are kind of older than like ones that just came out, so I don't know how they update it, but these are supposed to be new apps, and they have two, one, two at the top, those are also apps. And then they also have What's Hot, these are games, or what are actually any app that's downloaded a lot and has good ratings. You see they all have like four or five stars, and they again have two at the top. So I I have some of these there, you know, if they're up here they're gonna be good, most likely. Unless you just don't like what you know, what the apps are. You may not like them. Personal preference. You have categories. And in this, the main list just shows you all the different categories. There are a lot. It's like medical, books, education, uh games. Just a lot of different things. And um when you're in this you see that it shows the pictures of like one of the apps in that category. Like you have, you know, games that's cube, I believe. Entertainment as backgrounds, the little app right there. So I just clicked on entertainment and when you go into that, and this this is the same with any other categories, it shows you top paid, top free, and release date. And you can click on any of those when you after on top paid. I'll show you the mostly downloaded and highly rated games, or in this case, entertainment that you have to pay for. But it'd be whatever category you're in. And you get top free. It shows you all the free ones, which I think I would use it the most because I like to get the free apps. I do pay for a couple, but mostly most of mine are free apps. And then release date, and this is just based on when they were released. Also, when whenever you go to an app, say go to iBear. You know, I'll show you a little description of the app. It shows the app at the top button, a little description, and then it shows you pictures. Most of them have pictures. And then tell a friend report a problem. It shows you the information about it, the like size and everything. And this is the same for every app. Also, there's reviews. And you can read all the reviews on here. When you hit the bottom, it says more reviews. So, yeah, you can read, read all the reviews and everything on here. So you, really, you don't have to use your computer at all to do download apps. And if I were to download this, just click on that once, and then it says buy now. But if it was a free app, we'll say, I already have that one. Thank you, call. We'll say install. It won't say buy because you're not buying it. Um, so then, it, then you press it, and it will, if you have not entered your password recently, it will ask you for it. But if you already entered it like a minute ago, it won't ask you for it again. And it will start to download it onto the main screen. Or going back into the you know whatever the whatever slot you have it'll put into an open slot and um, it'll just show a little bar at the bottom and start to download. So that's categories. In top 25, you have top paid and top free. Top paid is the top 25 paid apps, and top free is the top 25 free apps. And I like to go here like every day or every other day just to see what the top apps are and see if there's any that are worthwhile download because these are normally you know apps that people like so good apps so I'll look like in the top to see if uh, there's Enigma one I just did a review on and there's search and on this just, it is what it's called click on that you search for an app and if you, if you know the name and then you just you find it and finally updates this is so that 
it will tell you when you need to up when the new version of an app you have comes out and you can either press on it it's loading because it doesn't want to load Oh, whatever, let me show you guys that. I'll just load it and you can press the update or you can press at the top, which I do now, which just this is part of the 2.2 firmware. Update all. I see it's asking me for my password because I have not entered it recently. Yeah. So then I'll just start updating all my apps. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much that's all there is about the App Store. It still says six, but once it uh, once it will go, that will go away once they're all updated. So that's pretty much the App Store. I hope you guys you know understand how to use it now. Anybody that's looking to buy an uh, iPod Touch or an iPhone, you'll see what it's like. It is great. I love it. You know, you don't have to use your computer at all to download apps. Because then, if you download them on your computer, then plug in your iPod or iPhone, wait for it to back up, and then get them. And that's a much more laborious process. So with the app App Store, you can just download them straight to your iPod Touch or iPhone. It's really great. And uh, when you do play, if you download apps and you plug it into your computer, it will take the apps from your iPod or iPhone and put them onto your on computer, so your computer knows that you have them. It'll put them in your computer library. So yeah, this has been the first bit Authority. It's my little talk about the App Store. I hope you guys enjoy it. And like I've been saying in my last videos, please subscribe. You know, I will be doing more app reviews. And I know for a fact that I am getting some products to review. So I will be doing, I'll put those up as soon as I review them. And I'll put up unboxings. I think I may be getting some stuff today because it's been, you know, about a week since it's, some people told me they sent me stuff. So I probably should be getting stuff pretty soon. So just subscribe and I'll, you can see those when I put them up. So see you guys later.